everyone, welcome back to the Putnam. My name is Emma and today we are going to be making puff mobiles. This is what it looks like when it's done. Um, you only need a few very simple things. You need two index cards, three straws, and um, four lifesavers, and tape, of course, lots and lots of tape. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So you're going to take one of your index cards, I'll move this one off to the side, and you're going to take two of your straws. And you're going to kind of line them up on your index card. And then you're going to tape them down. These are going to be your axles, which will hold your lifesavers, which will be the wheels. All right, tape it down. Okay. And you don't want your these straws to be able to move because you want your your uh, lifesavers, your wheels to be able to move. All right, so now we have that done. We're not gonna put our lifesavers on yet. Right now, we're gonna put on the sail, so the bigger parts. So you're gonna take one of your straws and kind of, it doesn't have to, mine's a bendy straw, it doesn't have to be a bendy straw, I'll just bend it. Um, and you're gonna bend it up like that. And you're gonna do the same thing, where you're gonna line it up onto your index card and tape it down. So that it stays. And you're gonna take some more tape. And it works a lot easier if you tape this part down on this side but I went a little rogue. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to bend my straw a little bit, but that's okay because it doesn't need, you don't need like the straw part. You just need it to hold things up. That's all it's there for. Go ahead and tape it down. And I'm going to create kind of some bearings to kind of let my sail be more of a sail. This is going to let the air blow over it so it's a little more aerodynamic so that the air doesn't stop it from going. It just blows right over. All right. And I'm going to flip it over this way and kind of close. See how there's a little gap right here? I'm going to close that gap with some tape. so that air doesn't get trapped inside and stop it from moving. Oh. The tape popped off. Okay. So here's the first part of the mobile and now we have to add on our wheels, of course, or it's not gonna move. So you're gonna put on one of your lifesavers, one of your wheels. And then what you're gonna do, because you don't want your puff mobile while it's moving to have the wheel be moving around and eventually it'll just roll off. You're gonna fold your straw over like that. And you're going to tape. Oh, there we go. And you're gonna tape it down because this will create kind of a barrier for your wheel so that it doesn't move off while it's rolling around. So you're gonna do that for all of them. And, uh, and then you're gonna flip them over. Once you've done all of your wheels, you're gonna flip it over and then you're gonna still, you're gonna tape down the straw right next to the wheel, right where the index card ends. Because what could happen is while your wheel is moving, it could kind of go in, go in underneath and move it around a little bit. So you want to create as little space as possible for your wheel to move so that it doesn't change direction of your puff mobile or, you know, pop off entirely. All right, so I'll get those finished. I'll get the rest of those wheels on. And then once I get that done, we're going to actually race our puff mobiles and see which has the better model. All right, everyone, I'll see you soon. Bye. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know. 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 I don't know